The monthly cost of driving a car depends on the number of miles driven. That's logical. You drive more, you're going to have more gas, you're going to have more maintenance. It will cost more. Lynn found that in May, it cost her $380 to drive 480 miles. And in June, it cost her $460 to drive 800 miles. Part A, express the monthly cost C as a function of the distance driven D. Assume that a linear relationship gives a suitable model. So it says to express the monthly cost C as a function of the distance driven D. So that means that we're going to say the miles leads to or determines the cost. Or at least it plays a large part in the cost. So that means that miles is going to be X and cost would then be our output value and cost is going to be Y. So if we're trying to write our equation, we need to first figure out how we can write the points that we have. So the first point that we're given, it says it costs $380 to drive 480 miles. Well, we said miles is X. So that means 480 and 380 would look like this with our 480 being our X and our 380 being our Y. For the second point, it says it cost $460 to drive 800 miles. So that means that the cost for 60 is going to be our Y and the 800 miles is going to be our X. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and finish out our labels, X1, Y1, X2, Y2, there we go. We're trying to find a linear relationship so that tells us that we're going to need our y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 point slope form. Well, before we can substitute in, we have our y1 and x1, but we don't have our slope. So let's find the slope. So slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So substituting everything in, y2 is 460, y1 is 380, X2 is 800, and X1 is 480. So if we simplify this down, it looks like we get 80 over 320, which will give us, you can cancel your zeros here, so a slope of 1 fourth. Now we need to see if we can create an equation. So if we know that this is going to be linear, so let's write our equation. So y minus y1, well, that becomes y minus y1 is 380 equals m, which is 1 fourth, x minus x1, which was 480. So we need to distribute. So y minus 380 equals 1 fourth x, and then 1 fourth times 480 is 120. Add our 380 to both sides. And it looks like we get 1 fourth x plus 260. So this is going to be our linear model. This is going to be the equation of our line. Now it's telling us to use part A to, pre to predict the cost of driving 1,500 miles. Well, for predicting the cost, cost was y. So that means we want y equals. And if we're looking at the miles being x, so that means x is going to be 1,500. So we have 1 fourth times x, so 1,500 plus 260. So that looks like we're going to get $635. So our guesstimate for the cost based on the model we created is $635. Draw the graph of the linear function. What does the slope represent? So now we need to draw our graph. So we need to have our y-intercept at 260. So if I make this 100, this 200, oh, well, that's not going to give us enough space. So let's make this 100 and this 200. So 260 be right about here. 
There we go. And then our graph is one fourth. So that means that we would have a rise of one and a run of four. We also have another point we could put in. We know that when we have 1,500 miles, we also have a cost of Here's our first point, and here's our second point. There we go. And there's the equation of our line. What does the slope represent? What was our slope? If we convert one fourth into money, one fourth into a decimal, it would look like 25 cents. And what this represents is the cost per mile. Because if you drive zero miles, you would have one fourth times zero. And that's just going to give you the 260. And that's going to be our C intercept, our cost intercept, our Y intercept, if you want to think of it that way. So every time you drive a mile, you have that slope, which is going to increase your cost. So in this case, it's going to increase it by 25 cents per mile. So what does the C intercept, our Y intercept right here represent? So this means that you drove zero miles, but the cost of the car was still 260. So our C intercept is 260, which means that your fixed monthly costs, like a car payment or insurance, that is already going to be $260, whether you drive or not. So this represents your fixed monthly cost. And it's $260. And this is for things like car payment or insurance, just as an example, where regardless of if it's parked in your garage or on your driveway or wherever it might be parked, or if you're driving every day, you're still paying $260 whether you drove a mile or not. And that's because that's our intercept value. Those are your fixed monthly costs. So then in part E, why does a linear function give a suitable model for this situation? It gives a suitable model because you have that fixed cost and you have that cost that increases as you drive. As you drive, your gas will be more expensive. You may have wear and tear maintenance. You'll have tires, things like that. So a linear function is a suitable model here because you have fixed cost and variable cost. So it's a suitable model because it takes into consideration the fixed costs that you'll have, and also it takes into consideration the variable costs that you'll have based on the number of miles that you drive. 